nice burst by Lopa. He's in touch. Didn't want to go in. The referee suffering a little ire and, and a spectator somehow encroached onto the touchlines arguing with the referee. And here's another one coming over. This is ominous. Well, this is what led up to it as Frankovic. No, he's. Is he dragged into touch? Now, Michel Adibo and his touch judge say yes. And a couple of spectators. Oh, oh this is really getting rough. And the referee, well, he, oh dear me, the referee losing control. Monsieur Arabo going after and clocking the spectator. Well, whatever provocation the referee suffered there, he should never chase after a spectator and whack him. I don't think Monsieur Arabo will hear the last of this. In fact, he's abandoned the game. Monsieur Arabo has had enough. Well, what a sensational finish. And with all the problems that French rugby league has had this season with the withdrawal of Pamier. They don't want another controversy. What will happen? He won't even shake hands. He cracked a spectator. He's abandoned the game. So what happens now? The Avignon club, do they get fined? Monsieur Aribo, is he disciplined? What happens to the game with only two points in it? This is going to be a major talking point in French rugby league. Monsieur Aribo, the object of attention. He's being interviewed. He doesn't want to talk. It's uh, no comment. But he was seen to chase after a spectator who'd come over the fence him and hit him. And I think most refereeing officials will say that is inexcusable, whatever the provocation. Michel Arabo disappears into the dressing room. Goodness knows what to face. Here's the incident again. He's arguing. And I think there's a bit of a scuffle. I think the head might have gone in Arabo then. I think Monsieur Arabo was butted. And he became so incensed, despite the fact that Bonafou said, leave him alone. He said, he butted me, and he's going afterwards to extract revenge. Bang! Well, that's going to be an inquiry by the French Rugby League.